So somebody recently asked me, you know, Tim, what's the first step to being able to quit to quit your job? And uh, I quit my job, um, I don't even know, two and a half years ago or something like that. And amazingly, what I've learned in the last two and a half years, if, if, if I were to do it all over again, the first thing I would do after I quit my job would be to get a job. And maybe that sounds weird, but the reality is that jobs are not all the same, you know, jobs are not all made equal. There's huge differences in from one job to the next. And what I'm about to share with you is the, the key kind of job that you want to be looking for if you're looking to really build wealth and to eventually kind of quit all of your jobs and, and just live off of your, your business income. So the first thing is responsibility. If you're in a job that requires, you know, you are the only person that knows how to do something, or let's say, you know how like a teacher is somebody who, um, it needs to be consistent from one day to the next, one week to the next, one month to the next, because those students are depending on having a consistent learning experience. You know, that's a lot of responsibility. Um, you know, if, if something goes wrong, you know, they might be calling you, you know, or think about like a doctor who's on call, like, you know, you're literally sleeping with a cell phone or a beeper or something right on you because you're responsible. They need access to you. Um, the second thing is flexibility. So sometimes um, if you're in a situation, once again, where you're the only person that can do that job or in an arrangement where the employer expects you to be, you know, at a desk in an office building or in a specific place, it's kind of inflexible. You can't just kind of take off for a little bit to go do something and then come back. Um, so when you're thinking about what job you want to get, I mean, here's, here's a few examples of, of good jobs that can help you to continue having some income so that you can survive today while you're building your business income. Here's, here's a good list. Someone that's like a server. Anybody can be the server. If you can't make it in two weeks from now because you're going to a conference for you know, joint ventures or real estate or something, no problem. Somebody else can just do the job for you. Uh, another example, if you're kind of like a, what would I call it, like a freelance contractor. So um, something that I've done a lot of in the past is painting. So if I'm looking down the road and it looks like cash is going to be getting low, then I can just go get a few painting jobs and I'm not expected to be there week after week after week as a painter. I can just go in, do the one job, might take two or three days and collect a check, get out of there and get back to, to building my different businesses. Do you see what I mean? There, there's a big difference between the kind of job that you're going for. Ultimately, here's the thing. As soon as you quit your job, you're going to be all excited and fulfilled and super pumped and you know lots of energy because you've got all this extra time. The reality though is you still got to have some income coming in. So if you are the kind of person who like me, and I don't know, I, to this day, I still don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea, but the way that I went about it was quitting my job first and then figuring out the money. Um, you're going to want to really make sure that you've got something coming in because let me tell you, the stress of not having money sometimes can be more distracting than actually having a full-time day job. So there you have it. The first step to, to quitting a job is to just get a job and to get the right kind of a job so you can keep the money coming in while you build your future. This is Tim Francis.